Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech, and today we're going to go over the new features of iOS 4.3. Now some of you on Verizon may already have the updates on AT&T, uh, they're out, but these are new to AT&T. Uh, some may be on Verizon as well. So let's go ahead and go under settings, and the first thing is the wireless hotspot. So this costs extra from AT&T, or whoever your carrier might be, if we go under network, you'll see personal hotspot and here it says set up personal hotspot if I tap on that it says call go to website you do have to pay for that feature but it is there and allows up to I believe three devices at once via Wi-Fi if you wanted to use that secondly airplay now airplay is on lots of different uh, lots of different music and things like that if you have an Apple TV you know what I'm talking about if I go under uh, let's go to this group and I need, do need to turn it down so that it doesn't play just for copyright reasons okay so right here is the airplay button if we tap on this we have the option for Apple TV and iPhone third-party apps now get better support for that so now they can use airplay uh, theoretically to send any video they want so say Hulu came out with an app you could watch it on your Apple TV uh, or they do have an app Hulu Plus uh, but say they update it for Apple or AirPlay, you'll be able to watch it. So that and possibly Angry Birds, you never know, uh, that could be controlled here. It's really up to them what they do with it. Next we have, well, this is an iPad only, and I do have my iPad, but it's not updated to 4.3 yet. I just never got around to it. Uh, but it does allow for you to change this switch on the side on, an, on the iPad allows you right now to mute the iPad. Originally it kept the screen from rotating or it was a rotation lock. Now that's accessed down here right there on the iPad as well. You now have the option to set this either to mute or rotation lock which I like. I liked it better for a rotation lock. So you now have that option on your iPad. There are some new fonts for notes. Not, not a huge deal but they do exist. Uh, here's notes and there's some fonts uh, noteworthy helvetica and marker felt so we have those for notes we can now cancel or delete an app installation midway so if we're installing an app uh, while it's installing we can cancel it while it's installing instead of having to wait till it installs or fails to install we can actually cancel it midway I'm not going to to demonstrate that it's pretty self-explanatory we can also customize alerts for messages and this is on the iPhone obviously but here we have messages and play alert tone twice uh, we can do how many times we want to play the alert tones twice once whatever ten times until you actually answer it that's really up to you but you now have that option the other thing we have a redesigned App Store update page now I don't know that I have anything to update so I don't know that I can show you this let's go to updates but the update page has been slightly updated to look a little bit different. We also have push notifications for ping. Doesn't look too much different there, but that's an update. Uh, we don't have we don't have much as far as that goes. Uh, we do have push notifications for ping now. Uh, if you use their Apple social network for music, uh, you will have those options. Uh, I think it's I don't remember if it's under iPod or yeah, no, I think it's under ping, but um, not a huge deal. I honestly don't know anybody that regularly uses it. So Now, under the keyboard, there's actually wait for, let's see if I can show you that. Let's go to whoop, cancel, we'll go to the keyboard. There we go. Yeah, I don't have it here. There's actually, on certain screens, uh, when you're adding a contact, let's see if we can do that. Uh, contacts, add, there we go. So for adding a contact... We now have a phone. We have wait buttons. So right here we have wait and pause. That's for if you're putting in a phone number and you need it to dial an extension, you could do that by putting in, uh, well, let's put in 222 wait. And what it does is put a, a uh, colon there, semicolon, whatever, colon. And um, we can pause by putting a, a comma. That's, that's pretty commonly known in the telecom world that if you want to have a number pause, you can put a comma or you can do these things. So 
just uh, you can do that now. Um, let's see. We have new parental controls for ping, which again is is one of those things that's kind of uh, you know I, I don't know that it's a a, a huge a huge deal to many people. Um, I used it for a little bit and it's there. I'm not really going to go over it. I don't even know where it is. So we also have uh, they've moved location service settings up to the top. So if you want to have locations, these are all the things using my location. You can turn them on or off as you please. Uh, and we have the uh, and that's that's pretty much it uh, as far as that update. It's a pretty minor update unless you really want the Wi-Fi update. There really isn't a whole lot of a, a you know a huge reason to be running out and updating your phone. Uh, but it does seem, oh, I forgot one thing, is they changed the keyboard a little bit. Let's see if we can, and they changed browser speed. So here you can see there's an iPad 2, and the keyboard has changed slightly. Now, it's really hard to notice until you compare it to an old one. If you look at this, it looks slightly different than the other one. Uh, the web browser is a little bit faster. They've sped that up a little bit. Um, it's hard to say how fa much faster it really is, but it is faster. So... There's not a ton of significant updates. I think for me, the biggest one is AirPlay. I'm not going to use the wireless hotspot. And on the iPad, the rotation lock switch. Those are probably the biggest things for me. But that's really all there is as far as the updates. Uh, I think I've covered every single one I could find uh, that people have discovered. So that's really about it. Um, if you have any questions, though, about the update, uh, I don't know of any current jailbreaks out for it. That doesn't mean the, that there won't be uh, in a day or so. Uh, but if you have any questions, please let me know. And if you've subscribed, thanks. If you haven't, please do. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.